Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom! For the past several parts of this walkthrough, I have been exploring the land of Hyrule and its depths, and have been overcoming any shrines and light routes that I've come across during my exploration. Meanwhile, an overarching story plot involving the Yiga clan and Master Koga has loomed in the background, and I've been slowly inching my way toward finally pushing this plot forward. But I have one last order of business that I'd like to conquer before I put my focus on all of that. There is a shrine behind these doors here in Gerudo Canyon, and I cannot access it since I am not a Yiga clan member. However, I've obtained two pieces of Yiga armor over the course of this walkthrough. I obtained one piece back in part 62 of this walkthrough when I briefly visited the Akala Ancient Tech Lab in the top right corner of Hyrule, and I obtained another piece during the tail end of part 73 when I visited the Great Plateau. Also, while visiting that latter location, I came across a map that potentially revealed the locations of Yiga Clan hideouts, and I get the feeling that I can find another Yiga Armor part there, potentially the Yiga Armor part that I'm missing in order to walk beyond these doors and access the shrine that lays behind it. So, in this part of my walkthrough, I intend to obtain the final Yiga Armor part, access the shrine behind these doors, and then hopefully, finally track down Master Koga in the depths and push that plot forward. So, let's see where I shall be headed to get this show on the road then. So let's see where we're at. I definitely have Yiga parts. Yeah, I got this and I got this. So what I'm missing are the pants. And based on what I saw that little painting back at the Great Plateau, it had a few areas on the mark that were resemblant of areas that exist on my already existing map. So I visited the place that was in the Akala Tech Lab. I visited the place that was on the Great Plateau. The only other two places that were of significance were around where I am now, the Gerudo Canyon location, and then one place near the Great Hyrule Forest, like around here-ish or so. So, I figure I may as well go ahead and explore this location then. So folks, we're going to go back to the Great Hyrule Forest. I think it may be in my best interest to... I mean, this shrine's already kind of higher up, right? I can either warp to this shrine, or I can warp to the Skyview Tower. Maybe I should just do the Skyview Tower, and then I'll glide my way over there, and then we'll drop on down below, and I'll see if I can find some pants. Also, as I get closer, I'm probably not going to keep this equipment on. I'll probably switch to another piece of equipment, but I will then switch back into the Giga Armor once I'm ready to proceed onward with this door. I I'm ass assuming my theory is correct. Like maybe I just got to look like a Yiga person. I got to have the full outfit on because this guy is currently like, mm, I don't know about those pants, man. Yiga members would never wear pants like these. And I don't know. I mean, they might not be the most stylish pair of pants, but they are great at helping me swim. They're from Zora's domain. Anyway, I'm going toward the yellow mark, right? So let me make sure that I head in the proper direction and we, we will be gliding. Oh yeah, right. Let me switch gear real quickly. I don't suppose I have a set of gear that makes me glide better. Maybe there's a set of gear that makes me lighter, and therefore that can make my air mobility more efficient, but nah, it's fine. So we're going toward the yellow mark. I figured the best way to traverse through the Hyrule map is to start in the sky and then work my way down, because climbing things is a huge pain. Plus, I mean, I have this nice Mifa fabric on my glider that I got from scanning Amiibo back in part 61, and I'd like to make sure that I showcase it, because I've been using different gliders over the course of this walk, the primarily the little choo-choo fabric. But now that I have a Mifa fabric that you can only get from scanning Amiibo, May as well showcase it. And I'm fairly certain that this will be the fabric that I wear for the remainder of the walkthrough. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in part 115 of this walkthrough, I'll get some other sort of special fabric and I'll use that for the latter two parts of the walkthrough. I don't know. But in any case, that little island over there, I guess that's going to be the Great Tyrell Forest. I don't suppose I've ever actually done the island that's above it. I've gone underneath the forest. Heck, I had to go to the depths in order to be able to access the forest in the first place but I don't think I ever did the sky that's above it. Well, that's a task for a different day. I'm doing Yiga Clan related stuff in this part, darn it. Also, I guess I could have been pressing A the entire time to try and go even faster toward the yellow mark. Crazy how I have three full wheels of stamina and I'm actually just going to use it up normally, just like by gliding. I've gone through my stamina wheels easily by climbing mountains, by getting impatient, by pressing the X button. And normally I probably would have more patience if I wasn't recording a video. But because this is eating up space on my computer, which is then eating up space when I export the video and it's then being uploaded and making the video longer and it's not the most entertaining stuff to watch, I get impatient. Making videos in some regards makes me more patient, but some of the things I do in games for my videos makes me less patient. And I, I'm, I'm really far away, huh? I'm about to use up all my stamina. Well, it's a good thing in the previous part, I cooked a bunch of things that will replenish my stamina. At least I got, I got this one at least. 
Do I not have a full stamina recovery? I do. So we'll use that. This is the time to use it. Frankly, I do need to cook more things and I, I, there's a part of me that wants to have a designated cooking video. I don't know if it would be appropriate to have before like part 100, because between now and part 100, I'm trying to fill out the rest of the map. I'm trying to find the remaining shrines, the remaining light roots, move on with this master Koga plot. And then part 100 or part 101, that's, that's when I'm basically cleaning up the rest of the game, doing side quests, finding all the Korok seeds, do, fighting all the Lynels for a badge or something, whatever. So I feel like the cooking part, if I'm going to do one, should be around that time. Till then, I might just cook one or two other random willy-nilly things, but for now, did I ever shoot where I thought I should need to go? I mean, I'm near the, the Great Hyrule Forest, right? Do I see, well, I mean, there's a shrine there. Did I ever do that shrine? I could go and do that shrine real quickly, and then that'll serve as a convenient place to warp to in the future. That shrine's just out in the open, right? It's not blocked by a Yiga person. If it is blocked by a Yiga person, well, and then that's slightly convenient for me because that's actually why I'm over here. But if there is just a shrine for me to do willy-nilly, I suppose I can go ahead and do it. There you go. Yeah, I landed on my shield, replenishing my stamina, looking cool while doing so because the sun is going down. Excellent, excellent. And then hopefully it'll just be nighttime while I'm doing the shrine. And by the time, by the time I'm done conquering the shrine, it'll be sunrise again. And it'll be nice and pretty. All right. So I guess I'm doing this shrine then, the Q Yo Yo Shrine. Q Yo Yo Q Yo Yo. Okay. Well, since this shrine is just out in the open, I suspect that there will be some sort of puzzle or challenge for me to overcome on the inside. So I'll go ahead and do that real quickly. This will serve as a nice, convenient warping location. And I can try and find the light route that corresponds with it in the depths if it's near one of the places that I've explored previously. And even if it isn't near one of the places that I've explored previously, I think there is a chasm near here. So I'll just jump into that real quickly and we'll see where that leads. For now, let's go ahead and conquer my 106th shrine. I've still got my clothes on. That's good. It means I'll get to solve a puzzle of some sort. All right, fire and ice. Did I not do a, a shrine in this game already called fire and ice? I've certainly done a lot of shrines that involve fire and ice. Anyway, I kind of already see what I have to do. I got to melt the ice block just a wee bit so that it can then fit into this space here so that it can press down on this little button. Great, drop that down, boom. Opens up that door. All right. Ah, oh, see, now we're getting wind thrown into the equation. You want me to mess with all the elements, huh? Oh, and this shrine, it's made out of earth, isn't it? Okay, there you go. All the elements, ready to go. So what do you, what do you, where? Okay, so obviously I need to get an ice block and it's got to go somewhere. So, I mean, hey. That's probably too, that's too small. That's too small, okay. Come with me, oh, okay, all right. My, my reflexes aren't that good. Here, throw that back over there. Okay. Now, why would, I, why would I want this though? Is there a button down at the bottom? Oh, hang on, hang on, wait. Hang on, well first, we need to stop the fire. So I didn't start the fire, but I'll stop the fire. Okay, now if I slide this down here, will it just go? It'll just slide, yeah. Yeah, it will just slide now, won't it? Which means I can now meet this ice block at the bottom. But I didn't quite see where it was supposed to go beyond this. Ah, oh, right up there, I guess. Oh, hang on. So we can do this, we can do boom. And then we can put this over here. And then I should just be able to ascend through it, yeah? Yes, I can. And then we can do boop. And we go through the ice. And then all that for... A uh, treasure chest! Awesome! But I had to get this anyway because I like to, cl I like to clear out and complete these shrines. Mighty Zonite Spear with... Attack up. Oh, I like, I like that. That's before I've even fused it with anything too, huh? All right, so the next order of business, I need to figure out how to open that door. I'm not seeing another, oh. Oh, this is a button, isn't it? Okay, so I gotta get that stone slab back, and then I gotta get the stone slab to block the fire, and then set the ice cube, the big one right there, underneath all that. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Thought you could sneak a button past me. Nah, I gotta optimize this part because I've got a bunch of Yeager related stuff I gotta do. But for now, let's grab this. Oh, you even gave me like another ice cube? That's actually really nice of you. Really ice of you even. Okay, and then I guess I can like attach this to the top of it. There you go. Probably, that actually is probably what I'm supposed to do. And then this will slide down here. Boom. Okay, and then we'll do boom. Watch it go, watch it go! Yeah, baby, there it goes! <laughs> I don't know why, just seeing the actual sliding mechanics of this ice cube gives me that childlike sense of wonder. Okay, so we'll go ahead and slide here, and then we can do, boop! There we are, and now this door should just open, and then this shrine should just be done! I feel as though I powered through that and solved that rather efficiently, if I may say so myself. So, boom, 
Boom. All right, I've got pants to find. I gotta find these Yiga pants so that I can then get to work and act like I'm a Yiga person so that I can access another shrine so that I can get another light of blessing. And I don't know, maybe I'll even do a third shrine in this part so I'll have enough lights of blessings to catch that in for another heart container. But for now, I didn't even think I was gonna be doing this shrine. I'm doing it. I did it. I got my light of blessing. Let's get out of here. All right, so there should be something Yiga related around here. And I won't have to glide over here anymore. I can now just warp over to this shrine that's just out in the open. I do, however, want to look at the map for the depths real quickly and just see if it's near a place I previously visited. It may be, it may not be. Oh yeah, it's nighttime out here. All right, hang on one moment, folks. Let me look. So, no, it's not. Okay, well first, let me get rid of that because I'm, I'm here, right? I'm, I'm in this general area. I mean, I, okay. So, as far as the depths are concerned, I mean, I've done this, this light route. I could, okay, you know what, I feel comfortable. No, I don't, because this is surrounded by water, and I haven't done, like, that light route yet, either. Hmm. Well, then those will have to be tasks for another day, then. There's, yeah, both of these cats, well, I could, you know what, I'll mark it, I'll mark it, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So the shrine is here, so therefore the, the light route that corresponds with it will be right underneath me. All right, and then there's another shrine up here, and therefore there's a light route. Oh, I don't have to get this light route right now. We can do that one a different day, okay? So yeah, I could I could probably go here and just head down south and get this light route, and I, you know, I, I'll mark it, fine. Okay, all marks are now on the map, but before I do any more light route depth exploration, I'm finding the Ziga part for the pants. I'm finding my pants, okay? There's not like a core oxy or something over here, is there? Let's see. There's stuff that I can construct with, and that's interesting. Oh, Addison, you are here, my good man. All right, yeah, I'll assist you real quickly because you like to give me rupees, and I could absolutely use rupees to buy other valuable items. Okay, so if I do like this, and if I do, 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 do so I put this wall over here, and then I get this part, and I put this over. And I put that on, let's say, this side. Yeah, this seems like a standard Addison sign puzzle, if I may say so myself. But because it's in, or at least near, Great Hyrule, I suppose it would be easier. It's the ones that are in the corners of the map, the ones that are less accessible that would be trickier. All right, Addison, I think this sign is blocked in and ready to go, but it won't let me talk to you. Addison, Addison. Thank you. Oh, it's you! Thank you for your help earlier! I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go! What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Boom. Easy peasy. Just like, you know, nestled it in there. All right. How's the president standing? That was brilliant! I never would have thought of it! All right, let's get him secured while he's standing. Yes, yes, yes. And then, I'll gladly take rupees and any sort of other rewards that you'd like to give me, and we ought to be good from there. All right, perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Cool, oh, just so the, okay, you know what? You still paid me, thank you. 20 rupees goes a long way. And then some food, what you got? Sneaky mushroom rice balls. All right, ah, but I still don't feel like I thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, especially for me to you, and a puff shroom. All right, great, thank you. Now I can go back to other places. Okay, so that's one less sign to have to worry about. One less thing overall to have to worry about. All right. Oh, see, there's a shooting star up there, and I'd love to go and get it. But, oh, look, I can even see. That's interesting. That's Kilton's shop. Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. We're going to remove this yellow mark for just a wee moment, because I'd like to mark Kilton's shop for future reference. So where did I just mark that? Right here? Oh, yeah, that's, that's right near the stable. Okay. So right here, then. Let's see, what did I put here? That. That's the symbol I'll put here. Okay, now we'll go back over here. We'll switch back to the depth. We'll go ahead and put the yellow mark here. Okie dokie. So I now need to find, well first, do I have photos of these? Mountain Doe, I do, great. All right, now I gotta find this Yiga place. It, I, there's gotta be some sort of Yiga place around here. My first instinct would be that it's a hut. My second instinct would be that it's a cave, but it was definitely to the left of the Great Hyrule Forest. And so far, I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing. I mean, there's a rock here. No, nah, there's not enough going on with that rock for me to suspect it of any suspicion. Hmm. But there could be a cave entrance on the hillside over here that I'm trying to find. I could always ride a horse around to get around this terrain. Oh, my royal shield's gonna break. Well, let's go ahead and break it then. Let's break it in! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
We're fine. We're fine. Okay. And I don't suppose I already I got yeah sky stream. What's a sky stream doing down here? This ain't the sky. Hmm. It's weird. Oh, hang on. Well, first things first. Let me switch back to the surface map. Oh wait, actually, is this it right here? Did I just find it willy nilly? I think I did. And is this person walking going to be that of the Yiga clan? Yes. Yes. These are Yiga markings. Okay, so it is a cave. My suspicions were correct and shield surfing down or shield skating down that hillside was the right thing to do. Let's talk to you. See if you're a Yiga plan, if you're just some traveler that's gonna give me a warning. Let's see. Hi, excuse me. I had heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important. I give it a wide berth. Do you know of the Yiga clan or this nefarious branch of theirs? I'm familiar. Aww. What luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still, I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right there and... I'll take your head! Let's do it. I'm so ready for this. Here you go. Woo! It's go time! I'm ready for this. I got my shield out. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, I was not ready for that. Good job. Looks like my allies are getting you just fine, though. I just need to get, like, one good hit on you. There you go. Eliminated! I got rupees for defeating you, which is awesome. Okay. Do I want your weapon? I guess I may as well take it. I'm not maxed out on weapons, and when I am, I can always just drop it later. Ugh, the faint glow of that star fragment over there lures me, but I gotta skip it for now. Either way, this confirms that I'm in the right area, so let's head on into the cave. This is... the Yiga Clan Merida Branch. Okay, well, I'm taking the bright bloom seeds and the bright cap. All I need... Oh, okay. I just need some pants! Who's there? Your Link! Come to free our tailor, have you? You'll have to get through us first. Ah, so you do have pants in here. I'm in the right area! My hypothesis was correct! I'm getting those pants, darn it. All right, go ahead and use up the last of my shield then. Oh, you actually did, good job. Okay, well, I got more where that came from. I've got this mighty Zonite shield ready to go, and it's plenty durable. All right, hook, hook, boom, done already. Okay, I guess I can take your blade, and I'll take the rupees too, that's the big one. Okay, and I gotta keep moving because the Yiga Blade Master's gonna strike at me, oof. It's a good thing I put this armor on though because I did like nothing! <laughs> okay, keep whacking him. Uh, 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 oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My timing was left something to be desired. But I'll keep swinging. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Also, this is still a cave, so will there still be a bubble gem in here? Guess we'll find out. For now, I'll gladly take those rupees and I'll take the bananas. I just, I just love that the Giga clansmen are like this somewhat serious bunch, and then they just love bananas. It's just a detail that I've always really appreciated. Gives them a slight human side. I mean, they're supposed to be somewhat human, right? Okay, anyway, that's the last of my Master Sword. Let's see. So I got, yeah, I got this rare stone talus boomerang that should just smash those open immediately. I'll gladly take all these arrows. And let's head in here for a second, huh? More arrows, yes, please. Thank you, thank you. All right, bananas. Yes, bananas are good. So is this just the banana horde? Am I about to be like King K. Rule and steal all of Donkey Kong's bananas? Because I don't want to be the villain. Although these bananas do look mighty good. There you go. All right, I guess that'll do it for now then. Let's keep on moving here. So I got to find the tailor and I got to see, ooh, this is a rare ore deposit. Hang on. And it had a diamond in it? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Okay, we're going to keep wandering around. There will be a bubble gem in here. Like there's plenty of pathways through here that can easily contain that little beast that will have the bubble gem in it. Okay, I want a sticky lizard. Ah, we can pass on that for now. Oh, is this how I came in? This is how I came in, isn't it? Okay, so we don't want to go that way. So my options then, uh, I guess I can really only go to the left or go forward, right? So I suspect one will have the bubble gem, the other will have the tailor. Let's see. Tailor, are you in here? I'd like some pants. Ooh, let's see this. Read the Yiga Clan Journal, yes please. This cave is a natural fortress made up of five chambers. Oh, okay, well, I guess there's more than I thought. All members are to memorize the route to the hidden room containing our uniforms and the map of all our branches. Remember, follow the eyes of the frogs. The punishment for letting this secret out will be most severe. Follow the eyes of the frogs. Okay, I'm gonna take those bananas with me though. Okay, follow the eyes of the frogs. Is this just a dead end though? Nothing else in here? Okay, so. That leaves one chamber, which I guess will turn into a bit of a maze, and then I gotta follow the eyes of the frogs. So far, I have not seen a frog, but as soon as I do, I will follow its eyes. Oh wait, no, this is the banana horde, I was in here. So then, is there, this is down here? I guess it's down here, okay, well, we'll do, move that out of the way, boom. 
Okay, and then we can do boom. All right, let's let's see where this goes then. Here we alley -oop. Oh, okay, it's a little bit down, but we're fine. I didn't take any fall damage. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's you. Well, I found this, but I need to find the tailor. All right, so I'll take you. I don't suppose that's the frog they were talking about, is it? Either way, nice to know that I got the bubble gem for this place, so now it'll be checked off on my map. But this doesn't go any further, does it? Okay, well, I got I got some more salt and some more amber, so that much is excellent. Okay, so even though this cave is now checked off, I don't feel as though I've properly explored it. Unless, okay, you were saying there's five chambers, so maybe there's another entrance? No, that can't be right. I walked in here, and it looked like some big battle went down. Let me go back through here and see if there was something else I could potentially move around. Are there more wooden planks I can move around? No. Hmm. Okay. If I head back into the other room that had the note in it, is there something else I can move around in there? Because otherwise, I'm at a little bit of a lot, un unless I can go up. I must have to go up. Before I try that, hang on, this is the room I was just in, yeah? Oh, no, okay, no, this is the room I wanted to go in. I can't move anything else around here, right? Okay, so I guess I'm going up. You said there are five chambers, though. Man, I never thought it was gonna be so tricky to get my pants. I thought I was just gonna walk in and be done with all this. I suppose not. Okay, so up and at him then? I guess I was supposed to fall in here? Oh, no, 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 I came in the proper entrance. I'm actually just supposed to go up through here. Okay, this isn't gonna take me all the way out the cave, though, is it? Okay, looks like I'm on another floor. Perfect. Aha! This is exactly where I want to be! Okay. So, this is the other map, and yeah, so let's make sure I found each of the, 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 sorry. Make sure I found each of the spots I wanted to go to. So, if I zoom out. So yeah, that was the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. That was the Great Plateau. This is the Gerudo Desert. I'm probably doing that spot right, uh, right after this. And this is the area that I'm at now, right next to the forest. Okay. So those would be the main four that would be on the Hyrule surface, right? Good stuff. And I guess I'll read this real quickly. Read the Clan Journal, yes please. We've received deployment info from the hideout. All interested parties should contact the head of their desired division. Mercantile Division manages sale of weapons and provisions to Yiga Clan members. Requirements, basic counting ability, conversational aptitude. Research Division researches and develops new applications for Zonai parts. Requirements, crafting skill, an ear for naming. Training Division oversees the improvement of all members of the Yiga Clan. Requirements, Resilience, Mastery of the Earthquake Technique, training available through the Training Division. Distribution Division, Supplies Materials to the Depths Hideouts. Requirements can read and write, confident in own strength. Okay, well, I suppose that's gonna do it then. I imagine those divisions are like the different places I've explored. For now, now those are the pants, it's exactly what I need! Finally, I've been waiting! If a pretty lady is in distress, the hero will arrive to save her. Everyone says so! So this is entirely expected. While well, I appreciate your upbeat and optimistic attitude, but that's strange. The hero is supposed to carry a legendary sword and that weapon on your back, it doesn't look quite legendary at all. Not even when I squint. I guess the hero is just a fairy tale. Me, I just used the master sword to save you. Are you kidding me? Me, I've been making outfits for the Giga clan since they kidnapped me. I mean, I like fashion, but I couldn't even sew. Do they listen? No, of course not. It wasn't so bad when I got used to it though. Honestly, I've been getting a little attached to the outfits I make. Attached enough that I don't want to hand them over to the Yiga clan anyway. This isn't my size, but it might fit you. Here, take it so I can keep it out of their grimy mitts. Yeah, Yiga tights, that's what I wanted. All right, be careful. Folks will think you're part of the Yiga clan if you wear the complete set. That's what I want. I'm doing everything that I thought I was supposed to do. Good job, me. But these tights are so nice, a little coordination of any kind can really snazz up your look. Thanks for coming to save me, really. You might not be the hero, but you are my prince. I am the hero! You should have been there like 30 seconds ago! I had the Master Sword and everything! That dialogue exchange could have been completely different if I just didn't bust up that Master Sword and those enemies down there. But this thing I'm holding now is just so much more powerful. All right, so let's put on the whole set and see how I look, huh? So, boom, there are my pants. And then, here we go. Yes, yes! I am the Master of Stealth, baby! Yeah, I can't be walking around with a Master Sword if I'm a Yiga member like this, right? All right, now that I look the part, can I act the part? I'm just glad that I was able to find that more efficiently than I thought. Okay, so where was I? It was right around here, right by this cave. Yeah, where the green mark is. So, 
We'll go back over to the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. I'll temporarily propel myself into the sky, and then I'll glide over to this place and see if I can be let in so I can finally access this shrine, and then I'll go to the depths, and then I'll find those light roots, and then I'll move on with this Master Koga plot! I'm finally gonna do it, hopefully, in this part, as long as there's no other road bumps, no other hurdles, no long, no other detours or distractions or anything like that. Just let me do this shrine. It's probably gonna be a blessing shrine, which is fine, so I can just power through it, and then I can move on with my life. Oh yeah, right, I was supposed to shoot myself into the sky. All right, it's time to glide around as a Yiga clan member, all right? And I know, I know, it's probably gonna say that I'm it's too hot or that it's too cold while I'm wearing all this stuff. It's only temporary and I've got plenty of hearts that will allow me to keep it on and survive in the meantime. Nah, not even that hot. Look at this, I'm now a master of stealth in the sky! They'll definitely never see me coming and dropping down. I'm just so stealthy. Gonna be honest with you folks though, I think after this whole shrine detour, it's unlikely that I'll wear the Yiga Clan set again, unless I really like can walk by other Yiga Clan members and they won't attack me. That'd be funny if that's a detail, because there are Lionel masks that you can wear, or Bacoblin masks that you can wear, and you can just walk up to Bacoblins and they won't strike you. It intentionally doesn't really work on Lionels though, because they're supposed to be intellectually superior beings, but it'd be funny if I can keep the Yiga armor on and walk by a Yiga Clan member and they won't do anything. Otherwise, I've got other pieces of gear that grant stealth, so there's not much incentive for me to have the Giga gear on. If I can upgrade it, then I will, but I, I get the feeling I can't. We'll see, we'll see. If I can't upgrade it, then maybe that will incentivize me to wear it more in the future. For now, we're gonna drop down here, and then the shrine, or at least the cave I was in at the beginning of this part, is not at the waterfall. It's not even inside this cave. That's a completely separate thing that I wound up doing in the previous part already. Although I could go and get this. Why is this? Hang on. Oh, I thought I could pick that up. That's just some random tumbleweed. Never mind then. I don't need that. Okay, so before I drop down the waterfall, hang on, I don't need the camera out. It's gonna get ultra hand on standby anyway. Okay, so we gotta go down here behind the waterfall. And I like that I'm not overheating or that I'm sunstroke here. Being near the water should make a little bit of a mist that would allow me to cool down, right? Or so I'd believe. All right. So here we are, we are back here. I now look the part, let's see if that's all I had to do. You're Yiga Clan, huh? All right, come in. Yeah? It's that easy, huh? Just walk on in, discovery. Yiga Blade Master Station. All right. So does this count as a cave? Do I gotta find a, a bubble gem in here? Is it just you? I hope you can't hear the shrine radar because that's the main reason I'm in here. Oh, is this a side quest? <sighs> then I guess I'm doing a side quest. Also, it looks like there is another cave marker on my map, so I'll probably have to find the bubble gem inside of here too, but for now, I'll talk to you. This is the Yiga Blade Master Station. It is where Yiga Blade Masters are made and unmade. You brave the elements to take this first step. That speaks well of your passion to become a Blade Master, but my exam is rigorous still. Do you still have more within you to succeed? Will you try and give it your all? I'll do it! Oh, wonderful! Well then, Listen closely to my words. The test is unforgiving. This is what you must do. In Gerudo Canyon, there are five frog statues with the identifying marks of the Yiga clan. Oh, I wonder if those notes then were meant to help me find this doorway. Well, I just found it because I was trying to find a shrine. Okay, five frog statues, got it. I will reveal the locations. Yeah, oh, you're gonna mark my map? Do Yiga members have maps? What you must do is travel to the five frogs, make an offering of mighty bananas to each one. Oh, well then I'm definitely glad that I looted those bananas from your previous location. Okay, thank you also for marking my maps. This harsh land will lash you mercilessly with its cold and heat. Your travels may prove your end, but if you succeed, I will name you a blade master. Furthermore, I will personally give you these mighty bananas. Ah, so you're even giving me five to set down anyway. Well, that's nice of you. I have no more bananas to give for now. If you need more, a true blade master is expected to find their own. Now, let the test begin! All right, stay calm, make haste. Well, you marked it on my map already. So let's go ahead and do it. The Yiga clan exam. So we'll go to the map. Everything should just be on the surface, right? Okay, so there's one just outside. Okay, so they're a little spread out, but nothing too tedious. So I like to think, hmm. If you saw me use the ascend ability now, are you gonna freak out? Or are you just gonna think that this is a normal thing that Yiga clan members can do? Because this should get me to the higher surface. Yep, to the top of the waterfall. At this point, I, I suppose I don't need to have this gear on, but I'm gonna keep it on anyway, just in case. In case he's watching, he's like, good job out there. Wait a minute, you're not a Yiga clan member. You look like Link. All right, in any case, I am, I guess, above where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, 
So, here we are, and you want me just to offer the man, it is right here, right? Yeah, see, I'd have thought this was a Korok seed thing if I didn't know any better. So boom, that's the first one. Excellent, now the bananas, they be cooking. Oh, they just disappear. All right, just like the dot on the map. All right, so the next one then, the next closest, uh, hmm. You know what, I guess I'll go around the river. We'll follow the river down and then we'll go to that yellow dot. I suspect it'll still be on higher ground, but I'll just glide my way through here because it'll be the fastest way to get through here since I do not currently have a boat. I suppose I can also smash this open, see if it wields anything. One arrow! To me, that is worth it. Okay, so. All right, yeah, 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 my shrine radar is still going off. Look, if there's another shrine down here that I've never done, I'll go ahead and conquer it. But for now, I suspect that the shrine that I need to do is gonna be where that Yiga Blade Master is. It's a whole ordeal, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna get back to higher ground in just a moment, hang on. Hang on. Remember the whole spiel I had a couple minutes ago about how I'm only more impatient because I'm recording a video here and I'm trying to get a move on? Well, this is exactly what I was talking about. Okay. But I, I guess the, the mighty bananas drop off location is gonna be where, is gonna, is gonna be uh, basically higher up is, is what I'm getting at. So if I, can, if I can go higher up, then I shall go higher up. Here, this looks like a place where I can climb high enough and restore the remainder of my stamina. There we go. That is efficient. All right. Now we'll go to the top of this, and I think I can just press X and climb the rest of this without my stamina running out. Hooray for having three full wheels of stamina. Oh, I think I just gotta climb this last part though. Might have might have overdone it a little bit there. But yeah, this is why you invest in stamina first, folks. Look how useful this is. All right, and then you can start splitting the difference from there. Okay. Yes, yes, unbearable heat. I know, I know. Now we're gonna go for a run. I'm gonna hold down that B button for a good bit. Don't worry, ya Lizalfos. I'm doing a Yiga Blade Master thing. Although I guess Lizalfos and Yiga wouldn't be on the same side, huh? Just like Zonai creatures and whatnot are not on the same side. Down below. Whoa, there is a shrine over here. Okay, well that's something for another day then. That's another shrine for another day. I, I got too much I gotta do in this part already and, and I'm, I'm doing this side quest now so I can presumably even access another shrine. I'll just have to remember that this is here and do it in the next part or in the part after that, all right? Nice to know that there's a shrine over here though. Nice to know that my shrine radar will even find me a shrine that requires what looks to be a shrine quest. All right, it's for another time though. This is the Yiga part, darn it. I'm doing Yiga things. All right, so over here then, just down here. Or is it gonna be in a cave or something? There's always the chance it could be in a cave. Cause otherwise it would be right here. All right, so let's go ahead and look for a cave. I wouldn't put it past the designers and developers to stick one of these tribute locations in a cave. Yep, that's a cave, all right. All right, I might actually have to switch gear to my Zora armor though. Oh, is what I would say if I didn't have this walkway here. Nice, Mount Naburu Cave. Well, I found the Yiga tribute location. I'll have to find the bubble gem in a second though because this is now a cave and I gotta mark all the caves by finding the bubble gems and I need the bubble gems so I can give them the kilt in one day so I can fulfill whatever that side quest is all about. Boom. Otherwise, that's number two. And I'm glad that I could mark another part of my map in the process of doing the side quest. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it's times like these where I wish I had like hookshot or Spider-Man powers or something. A Master Sword is back. That's cool. All right. Let's see here. Yaliup. Cheerio. I'm going. Okay, fine. Temporarily switching armor to expedite this process. Boom. Okay. I have forfeited my stealth abilities so that I may better use my swimming abilities. Oh, is this gonna take me outside the cave? Is this no longer part of the cave? Also, my shrine radar was going off. My shrine radar was absolutely going off. Let me go to higher ground real quickly. I wanna make sure I'm not going too out of the way here. I was probably intended to come in from the opposite side. Maybe, hang on. So what's up here then? Because if there's like a little cave alley, oh yeah, this, see down here, yep, there we go. Glad I chose to come back this way then. Oh, hang on. Even with three arrows, I can't hit this guy. There we go. Thank you. I'll grab these. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And I'll take that. Bubble gem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Powering through that. It does make me curious. Is there just a shrine on the other side? Is that the shrine that I saw? Let me see. So if I use a gust of wind and I just keep going. If I just keep going, what's on the other side? Ugh. I can swim. I can swim upstream. I can get it. I can get, is this a Korok seed? 
This is a Korok seed. All right, I'll do it real quickly. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? All right, here we go. And on up, I need to reach my friend. All right. And where exactly is this friend of yours? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, my friend is sending up a smoke signal. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I can do this real quickly. It's two extra Korok seeds, folks. I hope you understand. I'm already in here. I can trust this Korok. He knows I'm not actually Yiga. All right, so I just gotta, gotta walk up here and just gotta like get you over the water here. This is otherwise a very serene and tranquil location and I like that. Okay, so if I just like get you over there for a second. Boop. Yeah, do it now so I don't have to worry about this later. It's two more Korok seeds, folks. Two more, just like that. See, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't that big of a detour. All right, here we go. Thanks for being my friend. Here's something for you. Boom, baby! Yes! Thank you! We'll gladly take those. All right. So that's all set. Boom. Okay, but your, your the shrine radar is still blinking. All right, I gotta not worry about this right now. There is a shrine over here, I guess. I'll have to go up the rest of the stream another time. It's probably like right at the end here. I have to do it another day. I'm sorry. For now, we're gonna go over here. And I guess I'll get the yellow mark that's to the north. If need be, I can always work back over here and then I'll get the one that's southeast and then I'll finally get the one that's southwest. But I kind of suspect that probably one more of these banana offering places is also gonna be in a cave and that's fine. Help me find the caves, I'm, I'm all for that. And mark those and get those bubble gems fill in the map. All right, so let's see. So we want, I said I wanted to go north. I'm facing the wrong direction. We'll get the one that's north, here we go. Enjoy your painting. Oh yeah, right, let me put my Yiga armor back on. Even if it's not the most efficient armor to have on right now, I just like to have it on so I can remember. Hang on, let's see. Is it gonna be at the bottom? Hang on, sort by set, please. I guess I just never did that. Boom, 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 okay. All right, so over here, boop. Okay, yeah, so like this upcoming one, I could totally see this one being in a cave. If it's not, well then that's even better. But it doesn't look like it's right here, so it's probably in a cave. So it looks like I'm gonna go discover another cave. All right, so if we drop down, there's all sorts of shrines nearby, huh? Oh, actually, this is just over here? Yeah, oh, it's just right here. Okay, well then fine, there is no cave, but at least I was able to find this. So you want the banana? You want the banana? Oh, banana. There you go. There you go. All right, it's three down. Excellent. Let's see, what's the most efficient way for me to get back up? I guess I can just ascend. I mean, I could just warp back to the to the tower, right? The Skyview Tower. Where am I headed? Yeah, I may as well just warp. I feel like that will be faster than me climbing and doing my whole stamina wheel rant slash appraisal. So, we'll warp back up here, and then I'll get the yellow dot that's in the southeast. I'll offer the bananas there, and then I'll go to the one in the southwest. All right, and then I'll have used up all my bananas, and I'll be good. And then hopefully I can finally access the shrine that I've been trying to access since the start of this part, darn it. But it's okay, at least so far I've already done a shrine and I'm knocking out a side quest or side adventure in the process. Let's see, so you wanna head this way. I guess we just wanna stay up at the top. This might be one that's not in a cave. This might be one where I just gotta stay up, stay on higher ground. If it is in a cave, then I shall simply work my way down. Let's keep going, let's brave the heat. Let's endure it, we can do it. Gotta prove that I'm truly worthy of being a member of the Yiga clan. I can absolutely do that. Here we go, toughing it out. We're toughing it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope, I ain't fighting any Lizalfos. You know what, I could just run up here and I shall just run up here, but then I'm just gonna jump up this real quick. Ready? Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Plenty of stamina, baby! All right, let's see. Yeah, there's all sorts of, st oh yeah, that Gleok. I already fought that Gleok. Ooh, hang on though. Hang on though. Is this it right here? It's not in a cave after all? Great, just sitting out here? Okay, I'll offer this real quickly. And then I wanna see if that ore deposit up there is a rare ore deposit or just a regular one. Oh, well, now I see another one. It's probably just a regular one. I'll smash it open real quickly though. If it gives me amber, that's still stuff I need to upgrade my armor in the future. Let's see. Oh, there's a, there's a stone talus up here. What's up, buddy? I got a ruby for that one. That's a rare ore deposit, hang on. Hi, hopefully the Gleok doesn't come in and get involved in this fight. They wouldn't have me fight both at the same time. That's not a possibility, is it? Oh, what a horrifying thought. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go straight up here and smash this a couple times. Boom, 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 boom. Amber, I didn't grab it, I didn't press A in time. Opal, no, I still didn't press A in time. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where did those go? They're right here. Don't you smash those. I need those. Okay, here you go, up top. Up top, and then we can do boom, 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 done, okay. And there was a ruby that dropped down. I saw that, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool, quick little stone talus fight. Great, and I can, oh, and a diamond, and more amber, awesome. Okay, well, let's see what else I can fuse. So the eightfold blade is a one-handed weapon, so I feel comfortable doing this. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's all set. Only one little circle to go, and I can probably get to it on foot. Awesome. All right, I feel stronger already, and getting all those gemstones was a nice plus. Glad I decided to go and check, because I was about to leave without getting myself an extra diamond and an extra ruby. Okay, awesome. Yeah, those will be especially good for upgrading pieces of equipment in the future. We're reaching the point where if I wanna upgrade anything, I need star fragments, gemstones, and rare monster parts. We're, we're done with the times of like, oh, you know, I just need like uh, a flower or I just need some Hylian rice. <laughs> no, no, I gotta hang on to all that rare stuff now. With any luck, I hopefully can get enough rupees in the future too to where I won't need to sell any more stuff. All right, so the last yellow circle is over here. It's probably underneath me and it's probably in a cave. So I gotta go ahead and find a cave entrance then. Perhaps the cave entrance will be on this side. I will inspect. This looks like it could be ready for a cave. Hopefully it's not the back side of a cave, but now I'm starting to feel like it's the back side of a cave and that's a little unfortunate for me. Okay, well, I can still grab these. These are nice. Fire fruits, yes, I love playing with fire. Okay, but I see no cave entrance. I'm gonna get Ultra Hand out just to see if there's anything I can manipulate. I mean, a rock, sure. But no, it, it looks like it's more like I'm supposed to come out of here which should mean then that the cave entrance, I mean, I'll, I'll walk around, I'll walk around. There's a cave somewhere around here. There's no way it's all the, oh, maybe it is all the, oh, it's right, okay. I would have walked all the way around and found nothing. Here we go, Gerudo Canyon Mine. Glad I decided to find this right here. Okay, and then is there a bubble gem in here or is it just gonna be a little ritual? Oh, well, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Oh, this is crazy looking. Okay, hang on a second. First, the arrow, thank you. All right, next. I would like to try and get that treasure chest real quickly. Tulin, the gust of wind, if you could please. All right, and this, ba ba da ba. This is bomb flowers, cool. You know, I can use some of those fire fruits I just got, or even, well, I mean, I just got fire fruits. I may as well use them, right? There you go, fire fruit, huzzah. Boom, baby. All right, not that I have to do this. Hey, hey, oh, hang on, rare ore deposit. Okay, I'll get both at the same time. Okay, two, two, two. Can even land a hit on you. Your weak point just had to be down there, huh? There, up here, this is much better. Stop, okay, why is it down there? You're making this real inconvenient. You're right, I don't have to be fighting you, this is on me. There you go. All right, so I'll take that little ice fruit. Did I grab the stone? There should be an ice, like-like stone that came out of you and I don't think I picked it up. All right, well I got a Gerudo bow, which is probably better, mm, I'm fine with the bows that I have, honestly. Okay, where did that go? Okay, I guess I did pick it up or it just didn't drop one. I don't know, I didn't have to fight that enemy, whatever. The the prayer spot will be in here somewhere. Woof, there are rare ore deposits all up in here though. Hang on, let me get this real quickly and then I'll deal with you. Zap fires, yes, that is, oh, and a big hearty truffle, okay, here. So I, I got your picture already. Oh no, I did it, a blue boss McCoblin, cool. One last photo that I have to buy from Robbie. All right, here we go, yep, nope. Uh, all right, let's go. I can't set my bananas down if you're all flinging stuff at me. Here, I did just get some bomb flowers in an eye. Let's separate them. Boom, baby. There you go, that'll deal some damage. All right. All right, boom, knock them down. There we go, there we go. Eliminated, awesome stuff. Time to pick up all the remains. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. Okay, no, I don't need any more of your melee weapons. I just want everything else. Even the wild berry. Okay, and I'll take the bright bloom seeds and I'll take some of those and I'll take all of those. Okay, let's see. Now I'm not seeing the little prayer spot though. It's gotta be in here, right? It's just gotta be. Oh, extra arrows, thank you. Those are always nice. And a sun shroom. Those are nice too. This is the place to be. Okay, 
So wherever I'm supposed to drop off these bananas, I guess it's gonna be up here. Oh, I didn't even realize that there were barrels here. I could have just chucked one of those off, huh? Eh, maybe it's for the better that I just used a bomb flower. Not that big of a deal. Boom, wild berries, more of those, yes. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where's, the, where's the banana statue thing? I gotta, I gotta get that and get out of here. Found it! Thank you. Well, thanks for having this in here. Now I found another location on the map where I can find more rare ore deposits with relative ease. So I'll drop that there, boom. Is there a bubble gem in here though? There's gotta be, let me double check. So what's this look like on my map? Yeah, I mean, probably. Let's see if I can find a quick, oh, hang on. So there's you. Let's see if I can find a quick little tunnel. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that. Grabbing that flint, yeah, okay. Let's see if I can find a quick little place where there would be a bubble gem in here. I'm gonna go all the way up and see if I can work my way down. See if I can find a secret little passageway akin to something like this. Let's see, boom. Yeah, is it through here? Where are we going? Oh, I can blast this. I can blast that open. Hey, Yonobo! Yonobo, can you fit in here? Okay, fine, I'll do this the old fashioned way. I should still have... I mean, it's called a boulder breaker, right? Let's go! Hey, uh... And if this just takes me back outside, then great. It's another entrance to the mines. Oh, wow, I'm finally gonna use up the remains of my boulder breaker. Wow, okay, well, it was nice while it lasted. All right. And then this can break open the rocks. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right, let's see here. Excuse me. I'm just looking for a potential bubble gem. Don't mind me. Oh, hang on. I'll smash that open though. Ambers, yes, thank you. Okay. What else is in here? Okay, so this was another entrance to the Gerudo mine. So I just gotta find more corridors like that, I guess. I don't have to fight you with this. What am I doing? I can fight you with this and take you out almost immediately. Boom, thank you. I'll take your remains. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, fire breathless alpha's horn. Those are valuable too, and I know that I'll need something like that to upgrade equipment in the future. All right, smash that open. Rock salt, sure, whatever. Okay. Boom. Head on back down then. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to head back down. There's not a whole lot else up here, right? This doesn't go further down or anything, no. Okay, then back into the mine itself. Excuse me. Fine, I'll smash this open too. Use up the last of this, whatever. Okay, so that was incorrect, but I think I have the right idea. So if it's not there, let's head over here. Do I see any more corridors? I currently do not. Hmm. This bubble gem really hidden in here, huh? Hardy lizard, I got it, okay. What else is here? I'll keep going in circles. I'll keep maneuvering my way around the labyrinth. Not seeing any extra corridors. Oh, hang on, was this where I just was? No, this is, this is something else. This is a whole new place. Wow, there were lots of ways to go in here, huh? Oh, wait, no, this is just the way I came in. Darn it, got me all excited. At least it's warmer in here. Okay, thank you, I'll take that Keith's eyeball. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Darn it. So where's this bubble gem hiding? Where's this, oh, well, hang on. In theory, I haven't done, I haven't used this yet. If I go to my I, my Hyrule Compendium and I find, does it count as a beast? Or does it count as a creature? I think it counts as a creature. Yeah, here we go. And I use this. Now I can find it in here, right? Yeah, there we go. First time I'm actually using this. Frankly, I should have been using this a long time ago, but I only got access to it like, I don't know, three parts ago? But I'm using it now. Okay. Which way? Can't I, I can't really keep going up. You, oh, I can keep going up if I go this way. Okay, got it. Whole area over here that I didn't even know existed. And a rare ore deposit. Okay, here. You wanna go? Okay, I used up the last of that on you, but I got plenty of other powerful weapons. I still got this boomerang. Boom, boom, done, two hit KO, more or less. Thank you. All right, there's the like like stone that I wanted. And what's inside of here? Hmm, this is? Gerudo shield, sure, I'll take that. All right, rock salt, amber, cool, boom. Diamond and topaz, well, I am very glad that a lot of these places have been giving me diamonds. That's really cool. Okay, so back this direct. Oh, there it is over there. Ah, you're a sneaky one. You're really tucked away, aren't you? Okay, so we'll climb up this, boom. Well, this was a fun little place to maneuver around. I like it. All right, sorry about this, buddy. Thank you, and I'll smash these open. Okay, get myself an extra arrow. 
and I'll grab me a bubble jam. All right, so that's everything. I got the five banana places. I used up the last of my weapon, got some arrows, got some fruits and fungi. I think I'm good to go. I think I've done what I needed to do in here. So the most efficient way for me to get back here is going to be to once again, warp over to the Skyview Tower, and then once I'm back up, I'll switch to my Master Sword or something, just so I have a weapon out. Because I kind of get the feeling this Blade Master is going to be like, you did well, but I have one more test for you. You must now fight me! And then we'll start clashing swords and we'll have a grand old time. For now, let's see what else I have to do. Maybe that'll just be it. Maybe he'll just let me go straight to the shrine. I'll go ahead and get my Light of Blessing and then I can finally head to the depths to do all the other stuff that I wanted to do on this part. It looks like my Master Sword's ready to go. Excellent. All right, boom. Keep the Giga Clan armor on though. Keep that on. All right, we're going toward the yellow circle. Here we go. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So we're gonna do boop. All right, and then one more gust of wind from Tulin should give me the proper trajectory to align with where I was. This Yiga Clan hideout branch cave thing with the Blade Master inside of it that set me on this side quest in the first place. An interesting side quest though. Go find these five statues and drop bananas in front of them. Here, I'll even give you the bananas. That's interesting, that's neat. And it allowed me to find caves and mines that I otherwise wouldn't wish to explore, but would only explore for 100% completion anyway. And now that I've done so, I got the bubble gems inside of them and don't have to worry about exploring them later. So that's all handy dandy. Okay, hang on. I need the waterfall. The waterfall, I'm looking for it. Here it is. It's just hard to see because it's nighttime. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Is there going to be another bubble gem inside of this Yiga clan cave? There is, isn't there? Okay, well then I'll, I'll deal with it. Hang on. So we'll go back here. Okay, we'll leave that enabled for a moment and then I, I gotta find the actual shrine that's inside of here. So for now, let's head inside. You're, you're a Yiga clan, huh? All right, come in. Yeah, I did your quest. Did you see me drop off the bananas? Because I did do that. Also, please ignore the beeping sound that's coming out of my pockets. That's just from this Pura pad that I got that I'm using to try and find bubble gems. Excellent. Finally, you have returned after making the necessary offerings. My intelligent sources have confirmed it. Ooh. You passed the Blade Master exam! I have a reward for your assuming the mantle of Blade Master. You are permitted to step into the inner sanctum. This reward is valuable and only found in the depths. You should know that it is a great honor to receive one. Pay no heed to the strange glowing runes you may find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do about them. That sounds like a shrine to me. What's important is your hard work in overcoming the Blade Master exam. All glory to Master Koga. Yeah, yeah, Master Koga, whatever. Okay, so that side adventure is done. So I can just, I can just walk in here, huh? Nice, that looks like a shrine. Is there a bubble gem in here? And do I have permission to just kick open these treasure chests? Ooh, there's absolutely something in here. Hang on, are these going to be rare ore deposits? Just regular ones, but... There's you! Hello! All right, glad I got you. Thank you, oh, all right, all sorts of bubble gems in this part. I'm about to have 50 of them. That's crazy that I've almost explored 50. Oh, hang on. That's crazy that I've almost explored 50 caves. That's crazy that there are 50 caves. And that's not even gonna be all of them. Oh, frick! Oh, God, even though there was an explosive bomb there. Stop, you know, both stop. Stop. Stop, I could die in here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's get the heck out of here. So I got my bubble gem. Awesome. So now I'm gonna go back to my Hyrule Compendium and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would like to remove that. Wait, I need to go back to the map. I want sensor, shrine of light, thank you. All right, if you don't mind, I'm gonna grab these real quickly. What's inside of this one? This is a ruby. Well, don't mind if I do. This has been quite the gemstone filled part, huh? And this one is, ba -ba -da -ba, eight fold long blade sparkly. Hang on a second. Let me drop that down on the ground and take a picture of that because that'll be one last photo that I have to buy from Robbie. There you go. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there, now I even have a photo from inside of this place, huh? Okay, well that's all done. If this is just a blessing shrine, it should heal me up right after I conquer it. So here we are, the Suari Walk Shrine. Excellent. Thank you. Let's head on in. I get the feeling at this point it's going to be a blessing shrine, but if it wants me to overcome some sort of trial in the process, I mean, sure, why not? I just overcame a trial to become a Yiga sword master. So why not throw another challenge my way? But if you don't throw a challenge my way, you know what? I'll actually be a bit appreciative this time because I gotta get a move on. 
I got I gotta do a lot of other things. I might not even do the Master Koga plot in this part. I'm probably just gonna find those light roots and then like I'll end basically in front of where Master Koga will be. Ooh, a big battery. That's very handy. I'll gladly take that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go then. So let's see what we got. I'll do this as a Yiga person. <laughs> it's probably the only shrine that I'm going to conquer while dressed up in Yiga armor. So that's pretty amusing to me. I'll even do one light route with the Yiga armor on. Why not? This is a Yiga centric part. I'll go ahead and look the part. Boom, extra shrine conquered. And I know that there are other shrines in this area and I mean, I could go and do at least one of them, but I just gotta do the light routes. I gotta, it's too much for me to do in this one part. I'm sorry, I'll be back in this place. I'll knock out the other shrines and I'll find the light routes that correspond with everything here, darn it. I might even find one more light route down below and that'll actually tell me where the shrine up above is. Okay, so that is done. I'm not gonna be swarmed by Yiga members as soon as I step out of this, am I? Nah, I'm fine. Okay, so now that that's done, this shrine, finally done. Let's go ahead and finally do the depths equivalent of this. So, the most efficient chasm for me to enter to get this, I mean, I guess I can just warp over here, right? May as well, let's do it. Warp over to here, we'll get this light route, and then I'll get the two light routes that are up at the top of the map that I marked earlier in this part, and then that should be a nice, fulfilling part of this walkthrough, and then the Master Koga subplot thing. I'll finally do it in the next part, darn it. All right, so here we go. We're, it's gonna be fine, we're gonna get it. We are now going toward the green mark while dressed up as a Yiga Clans person. Yes, yes, and then yeah, I'll do the Master Koga stuff in the next part, and then the part after that I can search for more shrines, and then I'll have enough Lights of Blessings to cash that in for another heart container, and then I can find some more light roots down here. It'll, it'll be a whole thing. All right, can I just like glide over this? Is that okay? Let's go, Tulin! Yeah! All right. But as long as I can stick to the higher ground, that will be most beneficial to me. All right, but we're moving. We're moving. We're making progress. I finally got the shrine that's behind the door. The light route's just down here, so I should be able to glide over to it. Excellent. And then we'll make this part of the depths all nice and bright. And then we'll see if there's like a hole or something that would indicate where I'm missing another light route and therefore may be missing another shrine on the surface. Excellent. Excellent. Here we go. Looks like I'm gliding through some dark leaves or something of that matter. Something or rather. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna go right here. Well, just up as a Yiga person, the Kawi Ross Light Roots, the one that corresponds with the shrine that I just did. Let's fill it in. Boom, all right. And yeah, there definitely is a circle over to the right. That's another shrine that I guess I'll just have to do a different day. For now, I've got two other light routes that I'd like to find in this part real quickly. It's gonna be the ones in the northern part of the map here. So let's warp over here and let's see. I guess, so I said if I go to this one and then I start weaving my way around, I can easily get this light route. So let's go back over here. See, this is why I thought it was a good idea all those parts ago to fill in the corners of the map first and then to do those labyrinths. So now I just have convenient points of warping across the map. I found 40 light routes, folks. If there's only 100 of, 120 of them or so down here, I'm a third of the way done with the light routes. And if there's less than that, then I'm more than a third of the way done with the light routes. All right, so for now, let's start heading this way and then I'm gonna be using the regular map as a point of entry, as a, as a point of navigation rather. All right. I would like to try and get that Poe. I just like glide up to here, I should be able to get it. Right, because I can just ascend through this. Boom, mashing that A button. Through the little mushroom platform. All right, I'm gonna grab these two, thank you very much. Or sorry, these 10, boom. I now have 524 Poe's. Okay, so back up here then. So we wanna go around this way, right? Just making sure. We're gonna weave around this way. All right, stick to the higher ground as much as I can. Here, I'll even get a giant bright bloom seed up ahead so I can 
more easily navigate these parts. Oh, did I just shoot three of them? Sorta, because I have the Lionel bow equipped. I was like, you didn't just use up three of my giant bright bloom seeds, did you? I think you did. All right, well then in that case, maybe I ought to switch off this for now. Maybe I should just do a, uh, uh, Gerudo bow. Great. All right, but anyway, it does make it nice and bright so I can better see where I'm going. Oh, I don't want to be on this though. That's like a gloom route. That's a bad route. It's bad juju. Okay, so let's see. So I am still hugging these walls. Okay, we're maneuvering around. Stick to this upper part if I can. All right, if I got to climb around, then I'll climb around, but we are sticking to this upper part. Oh, that's probably where I'm going. That's pretty high up. All right, we are climbing though. We be climbing. Okay. If I gotta like jump off and glide there, I will. If there's just a place where I can climb to the top here, I'll do that too. Okay. I might just have to jump off this. That That's gonna be it though. That is gonna be the light route that I was looking at. Okay. I mean, it's not, I'm not confusing that for another one. I'm not confusing it for like this one because now it's to my right. Hang on. Uh, I don't know anymore. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm about to run out of stamina. Okay, we're dropping off. Let's go, Tulin. Which way are we, I gotta just get, okay, I don't really wanna be on the wall anymore. Here. Giant bright bloom seed, go. Okay, hang on, I'm about to run out of stamina before I die. Let's go ahead and I know I got food that replenishes stamina. Only a little bit, apparently. Maybe that's all I need, though. I just need to get onto here. Okay, very good. So I guess I wasn't in any real danger. <laughs> And now I've got this area over here that I can use to construct more projects should I need them. So we'll go ahead and mark this for future reference. We'll go ahead and put that there. Great. Okay. Still gonna hug around this wall. Although, hang on. Yeah, that is not the light route that I had marked previously. That is a different one. Let's not do that one right now. That's a whole other ordeal. So if I just go around this way then, and I, I don't think I need giant bright bloom seeds anymore. I think I can just use a regular one. I go that direction. I go this direction, right there. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna need a hot air balloon. I think I'm gonna skip out on that for now. I am not in the mood to construct things at this point in time. I would like to run through these parts as a Giga Clan person because after this part, I don't think I'm gonna keep this gear on anymore. Okay. So here we go then. So this is where I am going to end up. Is that a Frox? Do you wanna go? I'll fight you real quickly. There you go. I got the bomb flower ready. Come on, say ah. Say ah. There you go. I missed, hang on, one more try. Boop. Okay, well that did a lot of damage to me because I don't have my, my more powerful, more defensive armor equipped, but that's okay. Hop on up here. I'll, do, I'll still do this, okay. And then, thought I had something more powerful ready to go. Okay, we'll, we'll just do this then. So we'll do boom, 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 boom. We're getting it, we're getting it. Do, 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 do. Man, that's not like, that's like not strong at all. Hang on a second. I can't even see where I'm going. Okay, so we're gonna throw one of these at the ground. Okay, there we go, nice and bright. Hello. And if you don't mind, do you mind if I grab these Zonite and Flint pieces real quick? Okay, you know what, buddy? Is this really how you want things to go? Then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna engage. Okay, say ah once more for me then, huh? Say, ah, I know you want to. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Did I drop the bomb? Where did that go? Okay, maybe I should wait for you to say, ah, first before I hold a bomb out in my hand, huh? There you go. Boop. All right. And then I think I gotta switch to another weapon or something, because all my boulder smashes are gone. All right, so we'll get this one on the tail. There you go, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Smash that open, we almost got it, thank you. Okay, and I got the zone from it. Cool, okay. Oh, and that's on it, yep, make sure we get that. Oh, hello, buddy. All right, here, two more cycles of that and I ought to be finished with this, huh? Oh, hang on. I mean, I guess I could just like smash it with a bomb flower. Boom, decent damage. Okay, very good, very good. Woo! Yes, yes, you be slamming down, huh? Okay, I like how you can kind of see where this fight has been taking place. Okay, come on. Oh, you, have, you finally said, ah, oh, but you weren't even going after me. Well, can I still just climb on top of you then and just do this? No. No, I knew that was too good to be true. Still, I'm determined to defeat you while wearing this Yiga armor. And I know I'm just kind of wasting time, but after this, after I find those two light roots, this part's over, so I'm not super worried about it. 
Oh, is my bow broken? Fine. We'll do... We'll do zone 8 bow. All right, here we go. I just don't like that it's using up my charge. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, never mind. That's not the bow we're gonna use. We'll use the mighty Lionel bow. We'll shoot, we'll shoot three of something at a time. It's fine. Okay, get my battery charge going back up. Okay, here, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, I had a fairy all along though. Thank goodness I had one of those. Okay, why am I getting so bodied? Am I really just falling apart that much? Have I fallen that much? I suppose so. All right, well, that's why I cooked all those, all that food all that time ago. All right, so he's down, I hit him in the eye. Going back up. This is really the strongest thing I got, let me see. Weapons. Yeah, I guess so. All right, then this is what I'm using. Okay. Okay, so gotta smash this open, got it. All right, so that's done. Woohoo! Okay, now if I can shoot you in the eye again real quickly. There you go. All right, rinse and repeat. Back up. Back on here. Okay. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah, I'll use up the last of my spear here if I have to. That's what it's being used for. Oh, woohoo! Those slams sure do hurt, huh? Here. Okay. If I can get you in the eye one more time. Hey, man, even. Oh, okay, hang on. Go get it. Did you swallow it? Oh, hey, you smashed this open, though. Thank you for that. I don't think I got it. Oh, I did get it. Okay, cool. Well, that's the best case scenario. Hang on. Link, I freaking swear, man, we were gonna have this. There. I'm doing it that way, then. All right, I just like that he smashed into all this zonite over here, though. That's really, really handy. And for defeating you, I should get some Frox parts, which I recall, if I recall, I needed some of that to upgrade other pieces of armor. Yeah. So thank you for that. Cool, one less Frox fight I gotta do in the future, I suppose. Okay. Now where was I headed? Yeah, right, the, bar the bright blue mark here. Get that lightning bolt out of here, there you go. Hang on, I gotta see where I'm going. Okay, so I kind of wandered around in a little bit of a circle, but yeah, as long as I just continue along this path toward the bright blue mark that I said all that time ago in this part, I should be fine. It's just really dark if I go this way. What in the world? Hang on, this is only firing off the one or is it firing off three? Cause I was at 328 before. Okay, I guess it's only firing off the one, cool. All right then, Never mind. I had no, no real issue before. Savage Lionel Bow really is the best one. Just use it. You fire off three things for the price of one. Awesome. Okay, and now we'll glide down here. Boom, we'll mash that A button. All right, if I just keep going. <gasps> I see it! I see it! And it looks like it's lower than me rather than higher than me. Oh, that means it should be easier to access. I do see a whole bunch of gloom here though. Hopefully I can just glide over all of that. Come on, we can make it. Oh, am I smacking against a wall? I think I am. I'm not in a gloomy part of it though. Okay, here. Right here, right here, right here. Boom. Awesome. All right, let's get it. Right there, right there. I'm going. I'm going. I'm mashing the A button. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be fine. Ah! I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Oh, God. I don't know where I am. It's really dark here. Oh, I found it. I threw that bright, bright bloom seed for nothing, but I found it. I have found the Nikaki Light Root. Awesome. Let's get this place filled in. Boom, baby. I just got a nice little circle of light there. Awesome. Now let's get that other light route that I marked and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, I could stand to eat some more food though, huh? Let's see. I feel like wolving down. Mm, let's see what we got at the top here. What do I have an abundance of? Apples. Apples! Uh, d -d 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 Wait, no, what am I doing? I'm a Yiga Clan person. I should be eating bananas! Oh, I should hang on to at least 10 of these though. There you go. And then, should have, yeah, I got a couple of Sunshroom, sure. I'll take a couple of those, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And we gotta balance that out with the chill shrooms, of course. There we go. And now I should be all set. Okay, so this part of the map filled in, good to go. So we're gonna make our way toward the yellow mark now, which is, it should be a decent straight shot as long as I just head toward it. Okay. It will still probably be easier if I take to the high ground and glide my way over there. But once I get this light route, I feel comfortable concluding this part. I mean, I've been going for an hour now. I, I've been trying to refrain from having parts that are this long, but this game just has so much in it, man, and it takes so long to get everything done. But I'm gonna get it all done. You gotta believe me. I've got it all done. And if it means that these parts gotta be an hour, an hour and a half or so, then so be it. But I'm getting it all done in what is hopefully an efficient and somewhat organized manner. I figure this is still the Giga related part, and although I really, really, really wanted to do the Master Koga plot, it is no longer efficient or organized to do it in this part. This part has gone on long enough, so it'll be next time, but at least I don't have to worry about that shrine behind the doors anymore, and I now have a convenient warping point back to Gerudo Canyon that I can use to get other shrines over there, because I've, I've discovered that there are at least like two more over there. All right, let's see. So, my spear is badly damaged. Well, then I'll use it up on a frox or something that dares to come near me. All right, I guess I'm going uphill. That's okay. That is okay. Here. All right, let's fire this off up ahead, huh? So, boom. There we are, nice and bright. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I don't otherwise see any extra obstacles getting in the way, and it says I arrived at some sort of mine. Well, I don't see a mine, but if there was some valuable item or piece of equipment over there or something, I'll have to get it a different day. Oh, it's times like these where I'm glad I've got so many hearts. Do I just gotta power my way through this? I guess so. All right, run through the gloom! Run through the gloom! Oh. <laughs> this is, so, the s surface of Hyrule makes it a point to showcase how useful having stamina is, but the depths make it a point to showcase how useful it is to have all these hearts, because now I can just run through all this. Oh my god, I wasn't even trying to use my spear. Oh god, this hurts so much, man. This hurts a lot, oh my god. Stop, keep going. Okay, hang on, fill up that stamina while I'm standing here in the gloom. Okay, we good for a bit here. Drop one of those down. Okay, so it's not all gloom and it's not all doom. If I just keep going in this direction, I'll get to the light route. There's something I had to do in the in the future anyway. Boom, thank you. Right, it's times like these where I'm glad I have all these bright bloom seeds too. This is why you do the depths in the second half of the walkthrough. Oh, I saw it for a second, there it is. There it is, that's gotta be it. It's gotta be. Okay, just keep running. Despite the fact that I have so many bright bloom seeds, I would not like to just keep using them willy-nilly. I mean, I have enough to where I probably could use them willy-nilly. Ooh. You're just a stone pebble. You look so dark. Here, I'll use this on you. Boom, boom. What do we got? Zonite, zonite from you. And I'll take, oh man, I got an opal from that. That's awesome. Okay, hang on. Toward the yellow mark, very good. Yep, this is it. And I got a bomb flower. Woo, good thing I just picked that up and didn't accidentally set that off. And this is about to break, but I'll get it back out anyway. All right. Even though my Captain Three Spear may be badly damaged, I shouldn't need to strike anything else in order to access this light route. I can just run through the gloom. Those hearts will be restored in just a moment. Just gotta make it. Got plenty of stamina. The sooner I get there, the sooner I can end this part, the sooner I can edit it, and the sooner I can upload it, and the less space it'll take up on my computer and my external hard drive when I back it up. Personal problems for me. Here we are, the Uyoi Uik Light Route. Excellent. All right, another part of the map filled in. And as such, I can now use this as a convenient warping point in the future too. Okay, so while I didn't do the Master Koga plart, <laughs> plart, while I didn't do the Master Koga plot in this part, I was able to knock out two shrines, a side quest, discover a fair share of caves and mines, and I was able to find the light routes that corresponded with the shrines I did in this part, and I even did an extra light route beyond that. So 
I think I've done enough in this part. I think it's time to go ahead and wrap things up. So that is the end of this part of my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom walkthrough. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Next time though, next time, next time, let's get rid of this mark real quickly. Next time, I hope to finally address, oh, let me go ahead and get it selected. Where is it? Hang on, out of shrine quest. Master Yo, Master Koga of the Yiga clan. Darn, it's, it's such a whole ordeal to get it selected. Okay. Master Koga of the Yiga clan, you're going down. But for now, bye bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!